I'll put it to you this way. I often get Muslims that come into my office and they want to get married. Maybe the brother is African American, the sister is Pakistani. And she's telling me, you know, this isn't going to go over well with my parents and this, that, and the third. And I can always understand why it probably isn't. I get that. You know, people that are deeply invested in cultural continuity, they want to see their children marry people that are like them, right? I mean, whenever I think about my daughters getting married, I think about them bringing home somebody like me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, you know, she's like, you know, I like Brother Naveed. Well, I say, what about Brother Malik? He's a nice guy. I like him. We play basketball on Saturday mornings. He has good edge. I, I, I can understand that. But here's the difference. If it's based on like just a desire for cultural continuity, that's one thing. I get that. That's something we all experience as parents. However, if it's based on some unsubstantiated, toxic view that I have of Indianness or blackness, that has to be challenged. If it's like, well, he's black, he's probably going to beat you. He's black, he's probably not gainfully employed. He's black, he doesn't know anything about the religion. He's black, he, that, when those things, and I think I'm, I'm using that example because it's very easy to distinguish one to, 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 to misunderstand one to be the other. If somebody's just like, you know, I'm more comfortable with, you know, uh, culture that is familiar to me, I don't think we should criminalize that. I don't think that's a criminal thing. I mean, you probably couldn't tell. But I'm much more comfortable with culture that's familiar to me. But I don't have, I, I, I hope that I don't have any toxic, overgeneralized views about anybody. Because when you have those views, it degrades encounter. Meaning you're not even able to assess the person in front of you because you have all of these false, toxic, preconceived notions about what they're supposed to be, right? So whenever you see that, you have to catch yourself, hold yourself accountable first. And when we see it in our families, we see it in our institutions, we see it in our organizations, we have to be willing to hold them accountable as well.